What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. The Vintage Cube is finally upon us. Are you okay? You got an itch? Yeah. That's why I'm itching it. No, you're scratching it. You can't itch something. And itch is a noun. I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. That'll right, be, the last, that'll be the last draft I ever do. Okay. So, we are going to... We have... Today, we have a stipulation draft. It is... Uh, I ordered pizza, but I don't want to start drafts, and I want to miss picks because of the delivery. Yeah, this is... It's a rough life. See, that's the one of the perks of Arena, though, is that like you wouldn't miss any picks. All right, so the, the stipulation was provided by Scott B. Scott B., if you might remember, you probably don't because it's a really obscure detail. Scott B. was the one who first said to me, you should start uh, offering deck critiques as a way to supplement like the support people give you for the stream and the, and the YouTube videos. And that worked out tremendously well, and uh, people have been loving that. And, uh, you know, so uh, Scott, thanks again. Really appreciate it, buddy. So that, uh, with that, Scott suggested a mono red pip stipulation. Mono red cards are highest priority. Yes, there can be a second or third color, but they must have a red mana symbol in the casting cost. Everything is red. Da ba di da ba da. <laughs> I think that's from I'm Blue. You, you guys know what I'm doing. You guys know the blue. Except it's red. It's a, it's a blue. You know that one? You know that blue meme? The blue meme. You know the blue song? It's it's it was it was in Iron Man three in case uh, in case you didn't know. It was. Yes, it was when uh, Tony Stark is at a party, and uh, uh, <laughs> God, so awkward. Okay. Okay. I mean, we can take this. Can we? This is why I always want I always want exclusions for power and stipulations because no one wants to be passing these cards. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's in it's in Iron Man three. They do a flashback where he goes to the party where he meets Adrian Kill Killian Adrich Killian. Yeah, and uh, what's his name? We've only got thirty seconds. I think it's just library. Thirty seconds is a good amount of time, buddy. But it's not red. I, I think we have to take a red card. Oh, I think that's I think it was actually correct. Um yeah, but you can take lands. Like lands are always excluded, right? Are they? I don't know. It's a library of Alexandria. It helps your red deck exist. There's I can't. It's gotta be it's gotta be that, and then we can take red cards from here on out. I just passed I passed the ancestral recall for crying out loud. How good is is this card even in this deck? You're playing mono red, you wanna dump your hand. Shit. He's right. He's right. It's not even a good card in our deck. <laughs> Hazard or Thundermaw Hawkeye? I think it's Thundermaw. I think it's Thundermaw. Hazard's probably going to come back. Oh, God. Our first our first draft, we open. Oh, look, and there's no red cards here. Oh, there's a wildfire. That's This is not... <sighs> Gotta follow the stip, man. I know, you're right. I don't think this is what they had in mind, though, is the problem. Like... Like we're trying to go for mono red pips. I don't know. Whatever. All right. I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll follow the stip. I think I got. It, I got it in my head that we were trying to draft um, like a like an aggressive red deck, and maybe that's not the case. Burst lightning or Abbot of Carol Keep or Nahiri. They must have a red mana similar cast. So actually, we couldn't even take an Ulamog or an Emrakul in order to Nahiri out Nahiri them out. Unless it was in a pack where there wasn't. a Oh, red Mike card. got enough sleep. He's sharp. Mike I think actually you underestimate my sharpness. Mike actually woke up at a little earlier than eleven today because he had to go out with his dad and uh, do a little shopping. However, yeah, we had some Chick Fil A too. However, I don't know what I was going to say. What did you say? We had some Chick Fil A. No, about the about the pack. Oh, if an Emrakul comes around and we don't have any red cards, we oh, can take then it. you can take it. Actually, that's yeah. a good point. What I don't know if that's going to happen, but his Bober dad. What's a Bober? Sober Scrober. Which one do I take it, man? Um, I like ab. All right. Bit. Ab bit. Okay. I... Jenna, what's going on, buddy? We meet again for the cubist of times. That is true. That is true. <sighs> Imperial recruiter, manic vandal. Manic vandal seems insane in the cube. His dad came. No, <laughs> his stepdad. His Stepham's McDadams. Dad too. Dad too. Yeah, the new the new model. Mike, how does it feel to be up this early? Miserable. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Is that his name? Adrian Killage? It doesn't sound right. I feel like it doesn't it doesn't flow correctly. It is. It's Adrian Killage. Is that right? Maybe they got it wrong because they're thinking the same thing I am. It's going to be like, did you mean... Anyway, the point is that's when they play the blue song. Oh, I like a Dark Dweller. See, if we took the Ancestral, we could play it. Maybe it comes back. What if the Ancestral comes back? That'd be sweet. You don't want to play the figure? Is it Eldritch Killian? Because that could literally be... I think I'm just getting them backwards. That's 100% better. Wow! It's funny because ever, someone else transposed the name the same way I did. Oh my god, it's probably the exact... It's probably got the song in that clip. What did you say? Which one is it? I like figure. Alright, we'll, we'll take the figure. Wow, it's Eldritch Killian, not Adrian Killich. So the itch goes into the first name, and the Ian goes in the last name, and I just transposed those two. That's crazy that I made that mistake, but other people also made the mistake. It's actually in, there's actually an article. There's a couple articles that say Adrian Killich. That's so funny. That's so weird how the human mind works like that. Like I flipped the Ian and the itch, the illich. El, El, Eldritch, the itch, the itch and the and the Ian, and, and, I, and I put them on the different names. That's so weird how the human mind works. If I was the only person who did that, I'd be like, oh, that's just a weird mistake, but it's it's funny how it's it was done by multiple people. And because Adrich isn't a name, you ch it, like your mind changed it to Adrian with A-D. That's, um, my mind is blown right now. Actually, Duplicant or... Yeah, Pentad Prism probably sucks in the red deck. It's probably just yeah. Duplicant here. I don't think Seeding Song is very good. Mm. Actually, maybe it's good? Mm. It's probably not good, is it? I mean, it's okay if you do it on turn three for a Thunder Maul Hellkite. That's about it. I guess we'll find out if that's good. Oh, we got a Burning of Zinyi. Eh, Char is actually fine. I like Char. Uh, I like Char. Oh, we got a Ramion Up Excavator? I don't remember that guy being in here. Wow, both of the red cards we, we were in the pack came back. Which is better, though? I think we can get more five drops like this. I think Young Pyromancer is pretty un, uh, irreplaceable. My nose is really itching. I think I have to blow my nose. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to blow it right after this pack. And I'm going to turn off the webcam so you guys can't see me. And I'm going to turn off the mic so you guys can't listen because that's creepy. Don't listen to me. Yep, Hazard came back. All right. We're doing pretty okay here. All right, I think we're good, and I hope I have no boogers on my face. I hope you have several. I, I bet you do. I bet you do. It's moving on its own. <laughs> oh, Lord. I guess I'll just take Languish. Actually, I actually have a Goblin Languish. I'll take the Master. Can we not play this? Like, if there's nothing in the pack and we take it, can we still play it? I don't know. These are these are the kind of questions that I'm always um, that I always have to ask when stipulations happen, because... I just don't know. Actually, Scrap Heap could be good. That was a late buried alive. By the way, Frank, from Azor, I have a close friend who works with Twitch, and I had a long talk with them about the way the Rivals thing was. Let's just say some... Interesting. 
Vili, appreciate it. Actually, I also saw your comment on Twitter, and I and I liked it. You probably noticed. Really appreciate the support, man. You are a uh, you're a good dude, and I'm glad we have become friends. I mean, like, again, like, like I said, like, if it was just a fun event that you're inviting streamers to for, like, exposure, or, like, everyone gets, like, $300 in product just for playing, like, that's cool. That's a cool thing. Do that. I'll play in that. But, like, when there's $3,000 for first place and there's a 10k prize pool, like, that's kind of a big issue. Because you're, you're literally screwing people out of a lot of money. So, I mean, like, there should be penalties for that. There should be consequences. But it is what it is. Chain Lightning is pretty cool, actually. It's basically Lightning Bolt 2.0. Can you make the Fire Drinker Seder face? Probably. How close is that? Pretty good. All right. I like it. I'm not going to take Grudge because we already have Manic Vandal. And we can also just get this a braid. Or there's Inferno, Tatten. Oh, God. We've passed Ancestral and Mind Twist, and I don't feel good about any of it. However, stipulations are stipulations. Whatever, man. Mind Twist isn't even banned in Commander. It's because it's only one person, though. Still think it should be manned. Yeah, we're going to take this guy, and we have... You think it should or shouldn't be? It should be. Really? It's messed up, man. It's Nobody messed up. It's messed mind up, twist. man. We can take Splinter Twin. Oh, can we? Well, if we get zealous conscripts, we actually still still win. Oh, look, 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 we're just getting really bad cards here, unfortunately. Like for our red deck. However, the ready spaghetti. Can we? I don't even know if we can't take artifacts. I mean, I was more too. Yeah, I could see you in chat. Like you were definitely you were five minutes behind me, but they was still like, I could tell chat was actually getting really upset too, and it was. See, and it sucks because it's bad for the experience too. You know, like I just want to provide. I, this is supposed to be relaxing and like a fun uh, sort of, uh, you know, it's a, we have a good time, you know? Man, I want to take Kozilek's here so bad. That's no way. I know. Agreed. Agreed. But why, though? What, do we have a way to cheat it out? I don't think so. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, that's right. It's The problem is that, like, it's also, uh, it doesn't cast it, though, so you're not drawing the cards. I'm going to take, I'll take Duretti. That's fine. I'm gonna put, we're going to put Nahiri in the sideboard for now. There's no way to run a competitive event should be run, but either way, I felt like I had to make my whisper. I, I appreciate it, man. I do. I really appreciate you standing up and uh, and saying something. I mean, I, I definitely made my voice. I made my opinion known in the chat to uh, one of the the admins of the of the event. But yeah, I mean, definitely a weird experience where I'm just like, uh, this is less than ideal. Hey, look, it's everyone's favorite power. Where? Flame Slash? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good power. We could take Faithless Leading. Is this pack three? No. I was like, this is... I was like, wait, we didn't just open this, right? This is still pack two. We can take Faithless Leading and then discard an artifact and then reanimate with the ready. But we can't take artifacts. Who's Ehead Dude? Resigning from streaming. I don't know who that is. So that... We can't take... Can we not take artifacts? Like, ever? Because it makes a lot of the cards in the queue worse. Like, is it Bonfire or Experimental Frenzy? I don't think it's Experimental Frenzy. You're just going to lock yourself out because you have expensive cards. It's not like mono one drops in here, which is kind of... This is a kind of weird card, I guess. Coligon's Command is an option. The problem is we have no fixing, so we can't, like, we can't play Nahiri or Coligon's Command just yet. I'm just going to take the Bonfire and hope it works. I don't think... I think this is an 0-3 deck so far, unfortunately. I don't, it's not aggressive enough. I don't even know if it's a. I don't even know if the aggressive bread deck is a thing anymore. Like, you know, because they always make changes to the to the cube. They always add and take things out. So, so you can take faithless looting so that you can put two of your trash red cards in the garbage can where they belong. That's really where I want them. He got banned for thirty days for the living lore bug. I don't know what that means. I get the other part. I mean, I got. I, got, I don't know what the living lore bug is, but. Wheel of Fortune, Bell Striker. Is this Bell Striker? Yeah. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Gotta be aggressive, man. That's the only way this color combination is we any good. We can also take Helix and, and Plain Heary. 
Nah, no, man, one drops. We gotta win. You think Zergo's gonna increase our chances of winning? Yeah. Hmm. I did not know that. Yeah, I just hoping a ball lightning. What, what, what problem is? Oh, that's a good Chandra. I don't think we're playing Wildfire, I'll be honest with you. We have no, like, moxes or anything. Which Chandra is it? Oh, that one. Okay. The six drop? That's a good one. Living Lore and Fire Ice make an 8-8 eight, eight on Moto. Okay, so he's a Magic Online streamer. Um, Why do they do that? Fire Ice costs three. That's kind of weird, right? I mean, if he was taking advantage of the bug. I mean, that sounds like the case. But also, like, I have no sympathy for you if you try to exploit a bug to win games. And then, like, if it's a known issue and you're taking advantage of it, like, if you do it on accident, that's fun. That's another right. thing. But if you do it on purpose, well... Yeah, then you're literally just exploiting the game to get wins, and that's cheating. So, I mean, I don't really, I don't really have sympathy for someone doing that and then getting banned, because that's literally the consequences. Kilge, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. <sighs> It doesn't. It doesn't matter if the bug wasn't fixed for a month. Like it, it actually, that's not relevant. Like, it, it's you. You don't get to cheat based on your opinion of how soon a bug should be fixed, right? Like, I mean, you can't be like, well, in my in my head, uh, without any software development experience or game design experience, or you know, I I, I decided that at twenty seven days you should have fixed this. So, but considering it's not, it's fair game to cheat, and it doesn't really work like that. You don't get to determine. Uh, the terms with which you play Magic the Gathering on Magic the Gathering Online. Like, if it's a bug and you're exploiting it, it's cheating. Like, it's it's pretty simple. Oh, uh, it's not Stip Draft all day, new. No. So we can get... Okay, hey, look, we can take an artifact. Uh, it's possible to police people not right, but if it's it is impossible to police, but if they find you doing it and you broadcast yourself doing it, then you are able to get policed. Like you can't police everyone who steals everything in the world, but if you get caught stealing in the world, you will get caught you will get penalized for it. Just because you can't police all of the things does not mean you do not penalize and, and police the things you can. Like that's literally how the law works. Um, um, actually, it might have been Lightning Greaves here. It should be part of the game. It's not, though. It's not part of the game. Because then it's obscure and no one knows how that works. So if I sit down to play against you and you have living lore and Fire and Ice makes it an 8-8 eight -eight because it's broken, I don't know that. So I can't play as if I know that. Like, I can't expect that. I can't be like, oh, you're just going to make a 4-mana Fire and Ice or a, a living lore. Sure, no big deal. I can't play around that. I can't prepare for that because I didn't know it <laughs> and I play Magic Online all the time. I can't you can't just say 95% of people know that because it's not true. That's a completely that's a completely made up statistic. Yeah, I didn't know that. No one like I don't think any nearly as many people as you think know that. Oh, this is new. And Thousand Year Storm is new. So we could be, I could be, we could be red black, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, create a one one colorless artifact. This guy's actually not terrible. You can sack an artifact to destroy an artifact or a creature, which is actually pretty good. He's also a three mana planeswalker. Alternative is lightning, lightning bolt. bolt. I don't know if it's Duretti or lightning bolt. We don't have any black fixing. It's probably lightning bolt, and I bet Duretti comes back, right? Probably. It's pronounced probably. No, it's not. Buddy, I will shoot you in the face.
If it's the only spell in your yard and Living Lore is the only play you have, are you just supposed to pass your turn because of Motobug? No, you're not. But they're not going to ban you because of that either. They ban you because you take advantage of it uh, deliberately. So clearly, if Wizards bans you for 30 days, you're doing something repeatedly that they're picking up on. It's Galarian, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we don't have any five drops. I bet one of these... I bet the Badlands might even come back. I like Daredevil. This is actually the best pack so far. Can we take that Karn? I don't think so. Dang. So is it Daredevil or Incinerate? Well, it doesn't matter if a lot did know it. If 100% of the people don't know it, and it's not public knowledge, and it's not... And it, without having to go to like an obscure website to find out, I don't even know where I'd look to find that knowledge. What about Rakdos's return? Yeah, I like actually Chris might be right. Like Rakdos's return seems pretty good. I didn't even see it. I know I wasn't even looking for black red. Yeah, we'll take the Rakdos return and hope the Badlands tables. That'd be pretty sweet. Well, that's a present. Also, P and Kieran Alara. I'm definitely taking the Chandra. We might not even play the Splinter Twin. No, I don't think we're going to. Probably not playing Duretti either at this point. Ooh, a Lava Claw. Hey, reaches. we can take it. That's perfect. All right, we're doing it. Yes, you win by bugs and needles. I'm not saying I'm not saying you shouldn't play the game of Magic normally. I'm saying that if someone is going to get banned for 30 days, the reason that happens is because they were exploiting it in an unfair way. They were not just oh, whoops, this happened. Oh, bummer. Also, we're not talking about the Pro Tour. We're not talking about a Grand Prix. We're probably talking about... What are you talking about? Time Spiral Draft? Wait, what event are we even talking about? What that has Fire, Ice, and Living Lore? Ultimate Masters? Like, I mean, you just get the... You get a refund. If it, if it bugs out, you, you, you and your opponent get a refund. If you're known to be exploiting it, if you've done it multiple times, like then you're exploiting the system. No one's saying, like, don't play your cards normally. I'm saying if you notice it happen, maybe avoid it in the future. No one's forcing you to pick Living Lore and Fire Ice and playing both of them in your deck. Like, that's literally... Actually, oh, I've got that. I was going to take Skull Clamp, but I'm not sure if I can, so I'm going to avoid it. Ooh, Magus of the Moon. Is that good, though? Yes. How many swamps are we going to be playing, man? doesn't affect non-basics. You play as many swamps as you want. I don't, yeah, but I mean, I don't want to is my point. <laughs> my point is, like, I don't want to play that many swamps. I think it's Shrine of Burning Rage. I think it's basically an honorary red card here. Pyroclasm, Eidolon. Oh, Eidolon's really what we want. That seems real good. Thran Dynamo can probably get out of here. What are we cutting here, man? Faceless thing? Mizzy Mortars. Maybe, maybe. I'd rather cut a Faceless Looting. Well, you're in luck. we got to make multiple cuts. Ah, uh, Splinter Twin could probably go, too. We don't have anything. I mean, just because fighting games do it doesn't mean that should be, like, the default way to do it, right? I mean, I actually appreciate the fact that if a bug is used, is it, it found... I mean, the problem is you have... The thing is, like... The reason that you can exploit it in fighting games is because there's no way not to. Oh, it already came back. That's actually pretty cool. And what I mean by that is fighting games don't have a paper corollary that you can play instead that is completely true to the nature of the fighting game. Um, so when fighting games have a bug, that is how they exist. They exist in that capacity alone. Whereas magic, you know exactly how it's supposed to work, and you cannot do it differently. You, you, there's no way to... Uh, what are we taking here? Dire Fleet or Incinerate? I like Dire Fleet because it's a, just a, we have 12 creatures. I think we probably have another creature. and We already have Chain Lightning and uh, other things, so shut up. Yeah, Metal Worker came back? Jeez. That's kind of weird, but I don't think we have a Metal Worker deck, unfortunately. Um. So, like, when you look at Magic, you have a, a standard that it is set to, right? Having it work one way on Magic Online and having it work one way in paper is not ideal. You don't want that. Uh, similarly, you also know exactly how it's supposed to work, so you have a frame of reference 
how of how it's supposed to supposed to go. You want to play Jagger Club? I mean, we have 25 cards here. We need two cuts. I don't think Jackal Pup's really going to make the cut. Why not? It's a cutie. That's, yeah, you know, you're not wrong. Probably see this one. Really? Mm -hmm. They can ramp out these guys pretty early. It only ramps you to five drops. It ramps us to six. It ramps us to everything. On four, you can play this and get. You know, you don't have to play it on three mana, right? Yeah, but that's the ideal scenario. No, I mean the ideal scenario is ramping us into your mom. Ramping us into your mom. Fine. We still need one more cut. Fine. So all of our cards do have either red pips, except for the shrine. But I think shrine is like the Badlands didn't come back either. That's pretty frustrating. I don't want to cut Zergo. I want to have some ways to cut Bonfire. I like, I like cutting Bonfire. We already have Rakdos' return, which is kind of like... Plus, it's never worked out for us ever, so why start now? Do we play Library? I don't even think so, man. That feels bad. Nope. So, third... Yeah, this actually seems fine. We only need one black, and we have four black sources for three black cards. I mean, people love shitting on MTGO, but, like... I've just been able to do a Vintage Cube draft right now, and I've had no uh, negative interactions or experiences. So I'm going to play my matches, and I'm probably going to end the draft and do another one. And uh, that's just fine. Ashley, what's going on? Thank you so much for the charity bits. We're clear with waving hello. I accept. I accept your, your hello bits. I'm going to play first. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a pricey boy, but what are you going to do? Price it up or price it out. Uh, you know? pre price it to do, now, Dave. <laughs> Man, that's old school. I think the same that a game in 2018 had. What, what does the year matter, though? Like, I mean, like, they don't have more. It's not like the, the, the more years go on, the more employees they have to fix things like that. I think a living lore fire and ice bug is surprisingly low on the list of bugs. When they have a list of comprehensive, a comprehensive list of bugs with like probably hundreds of bugs. Um, I think living lore fire ice combo that literally only takes place in UMA drafts at, at very low frequency because one of them is rare is extremely low on that list. Come on land. Nailed nice. it. And um, additionally, they also have devoting a ton of resources to Magic Arena, MTG Arena. So, like, I mean, I think you, you have to realize how prioritizing bugs work in, works in software development. Like, that is not a high-priority bug. Oh, they didn't do it. Oh, they missed a land drop. They missed... Yeah, all right, cool. Um, Four drop, four drop. I guess it's just Hazard. It's Trigger? No. I guess it's a creature. Based on yesterday's stream, I'd say MTG is still a superior play experience to MTG for literally everything but graphics. Man. Oh, they just discarded it. Oh, well, I think this game's over. I guess we are going to win a game. <laughs> do you like when I do that? No, please stop. What do you... Uh, please never do again. Never do again. Do not do again. My name is Jeff. Nice to meet you, Jeff. My name is Beth. Your name's Beth. Yeah. Macbeth. <laughs> so large. That's what she said. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time here. I feel like I say that's what she said a lot more after I uh, after I watched The Office. Office yeah. yeah, that's what she said. That's what she said. I'm sorry. What? I said was that quote, is what she quote, said. I was quoting the show. Who said that's what? Who said? 
from Pam's on the phone with Jim. I know. I'm making. No, I'm also doing the bit where he's at the deposition, and he says that's what she said, and then the lawyer asks that's what who said. Oh. And okay. he's like being like, it's, can we just move on? He's making a joke. Can we go back to where this breakdown took place? Oh, I think Q1 Arena is very doable. Um, the problem is, like, you also have to... I mean, you have to you have to include the interactions for those cards, the mechanics for those cards, the way those cards interact with other cards. Like, there's a... Oh, we got a Manic Vandal. That's exciting. That's exciting. Oh, I, I didn't even know we had Avalanche Riders in our deck. I didn't either. What the hell? I didn't think we took that. How did, I didn't think so either. How did this guy get in our deck? Oh, this is awkward. Well, that's good here, but... All right, so they have four mana, and then we get to kill this, and then they can probably never untap their their Grim Monolith. Hmm. This is awkward. I had no idea we had this card. I mean, if we hit another land, we're actually just crushing, right? Oh, God, now I want to kill that. Okay, we hit another land. What do we kill, though? The Course of Portal? Probably the Portal now, right? I think so. Yeah, I don't want to give them more cards. I want to kill their island, but they also are. <sighs> well, we had a good run, folks. Oh, it might have been the Badlands pack. Okay. Falls Falls, I'll never be unappreciative of the years I got out of Moto in the same way I don't look down on 98 Corolla. Yeah, it's exactly it, right? Like, oh, that's actually. That's actually fine. We can terminate the big guy. We have Chandra for the small guys. Oh, I was I was I was afraid of Ulamog. Oh, yeah, that's still fine. Chandra still kills all these things as soon as we as long as we can survive. Which might be um or seething song when you need it, bro. I think it's in your sideboard. Might be. Oh, this is actually not that I wasn't meant to terminate this thing, but getting rid of this is probably still fine. Yeah, we're gonna block here. Or if you know if this guy attacks, we'll just jump it. Did you top take a master of the wild hunt? Hey, sir, happy vintage cube bits. Really appreciate it. If you guys are donating any bits, uh, I believe I don't know the details because I was on vacation when it was announced. But uh, make sure to use the hashtag charity, and I think Twitch matches some portion of that, which is pretty sweet. Wow, Top Deck Master of All Hunt. Remember that time I called it? Do you remember it? I do remember that. Were you there for that? So, a second artifact, if you do destroy it. Um, yeah, alright, so we're just gonna. Okay, well, I don't think we can win this game, actually. It's a little too far. If we hit a land there, maybe we'd have a chance next turn, because we could literally Chandra and kill everything. But, um, yeah, being multiple lands away is not ideal. Alright, so, significantly more artifacts than I expected. That is unfortunate. I think we're still fine. Yikes. I think my raffle luck is gone for the year. My LGS raffles off the box topper and the OMA drafts after the box is gone. Each person gets a ticket. For a pack they purchased, I purchased one single pack that had crap, a crap rare, and ended up winning the box topper, which was an ancient tomb. 13 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, thankfully, the year's almost over, so your raffle luck being gone for the year is uh, not the worst. This hand seems amazing. Absolutely incredible against the Grim Monolith, Coercive Portal, Worn Power Stone deck. Look, Zergo's going to do some work. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for Zergo to work it? He hey, did. He, hmm? He did. I mean, well, he, he he's not there yet, man. No, man, he did. He did He did work, you mean? He did it. Okay, well, how do you feel about Deadwood? You ever watch Deadwood? No. Uh, you, ever, you ever wanted to watch Deadwood? Didn't it get canceled? Yes, after three seasons. But, I mean, like, all the seasons completed. So, we should watch Deadwood, man. Should we? Yes, it's one of, like, the most critically acclaimed shows of all time. What's it about? It's about the the West. Is it about the Deadwood? It also has Timothy Oliphant, and this was his pre-justified role. 
Mm, interesting. Yeah. A lot of people draw. So you some... went from a cowboy to a cowboy? Yes, literally went from cowboy to a cowboy. Well, I'm not playing Matic Vandal here. Deadwood is awesome. I learned that cowboys swear a lot. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, this is fine. Oh, actually, we can. This is hilarious because we can actually chain lightning this and manic vandal this. Not that we should. Why shouldn't we? Then we get to we we get to deal four more damage, put them to ten. We get another two two on board, and next turn we have Glorbringer to deal with whatever they play. Yeah, but it's such a it's, stupid artifact. Yeah, it is. But we're, we're, like, we gets our body on the board, and like we can't attack with with pyromancer if we don't. And now we have such a great board presence against them at 10, and we have Glorybringer. If they play a thing, we just kill it. If they play Master of the Wild Hunt, they're dead. Well, they're less dead, but that's still not great. Still not grapes? Then he waddled away. So, you're taking four. If you block here, you take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you go to two. So you're probably blocking Pyromancer, which is totally fine. Oh, we, they just lose. Hmm. We had a good, We had a good game. Um. Okay, so what I wanted to do was I think someone mentioned Scrap Heap Scrounger. I forgot that was an option because I didn't think we were playing black at the time. Scrounger might be better than like something else. Man, Avalanche Rider, that's funny. Not bad. It wasn't bad that game. Also, for like restricting their mana with Matic Vandal and stuff, maybe Avalanche Riders is good. I don't actually know. I do like Scrounger. We don't have a red symbol, but Shrine of Burning Rage is also a... I don't know if we couldn't play them if we couldn't draft them. I am also surprised we won. Can you guys let us know in the comments if Mike and I should start watching Deadwood? Because I've been wanting to watch it for ages. And I downloaded all the episodes. Totally, totally legally. Totally legally. Yeah. So... It would be nice to know. Get some confirmation here that Deadwood is. Is Hazaret not good in our deck? Because I feel like we're just not going to ever attack with Hazaret. Deadwood rules and it's low commitment. Uh, yes, 100% worth a watch. My dad says it's great. My dad! Start watching Deadwood. I haven't watched it, but I'm pro watching shows. I love Timothy Oliphant. Card, Deadwood, Tree Folk. Yeah, HB, yeah, they're 12 episodes, which is really convenient. It's not super long. Watch it. Yes, it's awesome. I want to watch it, so you should too. I like the episodes I watched. I need to rewatch it. How, are you on board yet? I already said I was on board. Oh, man. I didn't know, man. Maybe I didn't. Who knows? No, you didn't. You were like, should we? And you were like saying a bunch of like, kind of kind of like half dismissive statements about it. We gotta finish the USA show first. The USA show? Mm -hmm. What does that even mean? Why do you rub your nose on the mic, dude? <laughs> it's so weird. He does like if this is a mic, he rubs his nose on the fucking the the little mic. It's still it's weird. It's a weird thing you do, man. Especially because they can hear that. I don't know. Scrounger's good, but I don't know what to add for or what to take out for it. Just 41. Do we 41 it? Do we take out Hazaret? Probably take out Hazaret. Seder's not great, but I we care. want one drops. So, like, you know. My joints. Bro, you're not even 30. <laughs> like, you can't be complaining about your joints when <laughs> you're not even 30. Well, I just did. Yeah, how's that working out for you? Just fine. Why can't I think of the name of that? What? The USA show? Yeah. You seriously can't think of the name? No. Man in the High Castle. There it is. The USA... Why would you call it the USA show? Like, this show literally is the opposite of the USA show, because there's no USA in the show. Well, it's about the USA of the... 
teacher passed. That's not the USA. <laughs> it's literally not the USA. Did we say Hazard out? Yeah. Huh, I thought we just went 41. Mm, joints are bad, okay. It's not on USA, Mike. It's on Amazon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh this boy. is a bold strategy to actually just run the mana crypt out on turn one. Yeah, there's no point to it. There's literally you're not going to You're literally just taking an extra. Oh, what a mana leak! I mean, if they have thirst, three then, oh, they're going to use it. My bad. Thirst for knowledge. Discard a giant. And reanimate it. A giant? That's not a pl the planeswalker's name. Hmm. Is Johnny? Did they just try to cast like a? What the hell is that? Did they try to cast a, a sorcery at instant speed? Because that'd be hilarious. Watch, I bet it's compulsive. Re Look, they just took three for no reason. This is great for a red deck. They just got bolted, son. What if they just? What if they were trying to cast compulsive research? I guess age doesn't matter if your joints hate you. One, two, three, four, five. This is a lot of mana for turn three. Well, six for turn three. Where did that guy come from? Can't block creatures with power two or three. I could just play this Dire Fleet Daredevil and just block this guy all day, which is nice. See if he wants to trade. I will. Oh, I will see that. I doubt it. I, d I have. A, I really doubt it. I hate not getting value off this, especially against a blue white deck. But they only have three cards, so I'd rather just be able to block Geist and, you know, not. Oh, they just wow! They rushed right into the attack step. It might be a bug in your cheating. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't think so. I have a feeling it's not. Also, I feel like I didn't actively... Do they not know this has first strike? This seems like a bad deal, man. Oh, they changed their mind. Okay, we had a good run. Boy, a lot of back and forth here, huh? I'd rather just take out their Azaria Signet and leave them with the mana crypt. Oh yeah, I was definitely going to do that. I would much rather hinder their mana production. Well, let's attack. Let's see what happens first. If they want to play a resto, it's pretty rough, but... They did not. Probably could have attacked with Dire Fleet Daredevil as well, but... I was going to be sad if they counter it. I'll cry. I mean, we're at a point where, like... Sure. We're at a point where, like, they could literally just die to their their own mana crypt. Yeah, so if we actually didn't attack first, we wouldn't be able to get through. So, And then if we actually attacked with this guy, too, we'd be taking 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 damage. Come on, lose the flip. No, they won the flip. Why didn't they block your dude? Oh, they waited. That's why. Okay. Because that's... I just literally just went over that. If you don't cast the instant sorcery, you can choose one to exile. Right, well. I agree with you. They're at 12. That's four turns with this mana crypt. Yep, that's pretty good. Guess we're taking eight. My kingdom for a way to get rid of this spell queller. How about, like, Your entire kingdom? Yeah, the whole thing. How about, Dang. How about a, yes! No counterspell. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Can't be a mana leak. Could have played Pyromancer and got a guy off this, but I wanted to be like... play. I wanted to play around mana leak and stuff, so... Feels bad to waste it, but... Feels better... If we get to kill this. <laughs> Moto wants your kingdom. I guess we did make a deal, didn't we? Hey, we get to do our thing. I'm gonna let this resolve. Cast your face. Get rid of the signet. Because they don't have double blue without the signet, which is pretty strong. 
all tepid response. They always do. They love doing this shit. You got it. Good deal. Oh, they are doing something here. Venser? Bounce this guy so I can just <laughs> replay it. Okay. Go to combat. Use it or lose it. Your, your move. Oh, what's going on right now? Fenzer, Factor Fiction. I have no idea what's going on. He's really contemplating this. Uh... Yeah, this is a tough one. Tough like a rock. Oh. You're... Wait, you're bouncing my... He, that dude couldn't even attack. I don't know what to make of that. I kind of don't want to actually kill the Mana Crypt, but I kind of do, so... I think we're going to do it? Nah. Yeah, actually, we just play different two-drop. That's a good point. Thank you. I'll play this ground here. Can't block. So I want to get rid of that. I don't want to take another six from this guy. So Salty, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. It's my boys, Frank and Mike. Mike, Mike, doing our favorite thing. What a time to be alive. If they keep winning the flip, it feels real bad that we let so them lucky. keep this. Yeah. Yeah. Probably should have just played Vandal. I think that was greedy. Because then we just give them five mana to do whatever they want. Like, let's play Gideon Jura. It's pretty bad. Uh, okay, well, now I'm just killing that. So... Fascinating. Hmm, well. Land, swamp. That's actually fine, too. Yeah, like we have no cards that actually trigger Pyromancer here, so I'm not really going to prioritize keeping a Pyromancer alive. Man, Geist of St. Draft for a Pyromancer. What a deal. Three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven on board. So if they take one hit from this in the next two turns, they're dead. Ew, one down, boys. Mana Crypt? Are they losing to their own Mana Crypt? This is gas. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a game. <laughs> All right. Well, we have not lost a... Uh... Did we lose? A... We lost a game last. We haven't lost a... You know what? This this statement doesn't work any either way, so I'm just gonna. We won one round, and we won a game undefeated. I mean, yeah, we are undefeated. Yeah, currently. Are you okay? What are these noises you're making? What's going on? Just making noises, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but I know your noises. They're like, oh, I'm having a hard time noises. We'll talk about my noises. I'll murder you. <laughs> huh. Well, that's, I really, won't. that's something right there. I man. lied. I appreciate that. I appreciate you retracting your murder threat to me. <laughs> Just a little murder threat. No big deal. Oh, good times, good times. So I posted on this this Reddit thread, uh, the Reddit thread about the 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 round one yesterday in the Twitch Rivals event, right? Um, someone posted the the clip to to Reddit, and I said, yeah, definitely left a bad taste in my mouth. He showed up at 115, won the match after chat pointed out lethal, apparently at 150. So we had 35 minutes to play an entire uh, entire control versus control mirror match. I was told by a viewer that he spent the first 12 or 13 minutes researching cards during our match time. Uh, and then someone said, so he controlled your time. Want to play a short game? Don't play control. And I'm like, all right, well, that's entirely not the point, And I don't think your reading comprehension skills are that high, unfortunately. 
if that was if that's not only your suggestion but but what you took from this it's no bueno Man, our opponent's really, uh... Well, I did it. What went wrong with rivals? Um... Well... If you want to play a quick game, don't play a control deck. Well, A, uh, it's perfectly vile to play a control deck in Magic the Gathering. I don't know if you knew, but that's one of the big three archetypes. You might as well just said, You dummy, why play blue when you could play red? <laughs> That would have been a better, yeah, that would have been a better uh, a better comment. Touche, Reddit commenter. Touche. Why play blue and no play red? You know, like quickness. Did you see how the finals went too? I did not. Oh, Magic Avocado. What happened to the finals? Give me them. Give me them deets. Juicy deets. Give me the juicy deets. Give me a two drop or a one drop so I can play it over this. Thank you. That'll do. I'm going to save this bad boy for like Blink of an Eye or uh, their Ancestral Recall. Finals was Newts. Oh man, we got a bunch of Smorks. We got some O-Boys. Give me them Deets. I hope it's... Oh, please be. Oh, they missed the land drop. Oh god, they missed the land drop and we're going to play Manic Vandal. Let's attack first for the same reason we attacked first last time. Because if they have Spell Queller... I did play... Actually, I, play, I played blue and red. That's a good point. I'm nearly ready to say Vintage Cube Day is an exciting one. You are correct, Shivan. <laughs> I don't want to say your name. I'll just call you Shivan. Shivan, sure, glad you can finally catch live, buddy. You're going you're to spell Queller. We're going to char it. We're gonna What's wrong? His name is just Shivan Q33F. That's true. It is just Q33F. Yep. All right. Another one? It's the same one. Wait, is this the same match? Mm-hmm. This oh. is game two. This is how you... This is how you... I thought we won game one. We did. That's why we're in game two. There wasn't another game? No, no. That's that's how it works. Oh, man. I'm out of it. Caleb Durwood lost to Rage, but it turns out there's a decklist error from Rage, and they redid game three. Huh. Oh, a moat. Well, see you later. Maybe I've thought about Hellcat. I ain't, I ain't scared. Hey, man. Yeah, man. How do we beat Moat? I've thought about Hellcat. I ain't scared. I just said that. We also oh. have Chandra. We're dealing seven a turn. And then we have an extra four here. What so we that's kill our Helm Kite? Uh, our Helm Kite with our three mana? Kite. Ain't never happening, bro. We're going to go Hell Kite. And this, that'll deal them seven, put them down at eleven. We'll deal another seven, and then we'll char them. And then they're dead. Sorry. That's just how the game works, Michael. What if he has Path to Exile? Well, then I guess we get a mountain. And yeah. concede. Why would we concede? They have no pressure on us whatsoever. We have a Chandra. Chandra? More like Blondra. It is more like Blondra. Wow, I didn't even think about that. You're right. Don't counter, don't counter, no counter, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Let's do a little floaty boy. Oh god, what's happening? Two mana. Are you just gonna blink this guy? Sure. Oh, don't forget, we can also Dire Fleet Devil to blink to bounce the moat and then attack for a billion. Um, yeah, let's exile the top. Be a land. Lightning Bolt! Whatever, we'll I deal mean, two. We shield them too. We deal two instead of three, sure. But, like, I'd rather just... I'd rather just draw that because our damage sources are limited now. 
Our damage sources are limited. Shut up. Never. Oh, I see. Boy. They really... They're really having it all here, aren't they? So, what's it be six mana to do one of these jobbies and a bouncer? Going to five. Did you realize that the artwork on Grim Tutor is a stance and flavor for child labor laws from industrial America? I bet you didn't nowadays. What? What? Yeah, I was pretty amazed that Caleb played the mono blue Dirtle deck. Like, that deck seems ridiculous. Like, the, the tempo deck. I always thought that was a meme deck. I never thought that was a real deck. And then Caleb's like, oh, I'll just play it. It's, it's only a 10k, whatever. I mean, it must be good if you want, right? I mean, it's very efficient. Oh, look who it is. Ya boy. Oh, they just made an emblem? Did they think this was Gideon Jura and they were trying to negative it to kill this? Don't know. Because I actually have no idea why you'd make an emblem there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, one, two. We are one mana shy. Actually, no, we can just play this guy. I was like, why are we shy? Why are we what? Okay. Uh, I'm not going to kick it. We're just going to bounce the moat. Michael loves Mambo. Wow, hoisted by their own petard with this blink of an eye. But where are your creatures? It's a weird emblem. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. You're a mistake. That's what your mom told me. Dang. Do we do it now and risk a counter spell? Yeah. He would have countered someone else. Well, not if it's like Mana Lake or Spell Pierce. Oh, they just will lose. All right, we are 2 0 with this deck that I thought we were going to 0 3 with. <laughs> Mono Red doesn't lose, man. Uh, you know, I guess that's true. You just get choked out by the Mono Red, it just happens. I'm actually pretty amazed right now. This is not a normal thing. I feel like every time we play red, we crush. I feel like that too. And I also feel like every time we play against red, we get crushed. I think red is the... Uh, said Fred. It, yeah, I think red is the said Fred. Isn't it right said Fred? Probably. I want to look it up. Yeah, it's right said Fred, you friggin' weirdo. Look, man, they're too sexy for your spelling correction, okay? That's true. Although they didn't make the mistake, so they don't have to be too too sexy for the correction. Only you do. Mind if I suggest a step even though I have no money? I'm a lowly pleb. Um, you can, but I gonna I might prioritize it lower. I mean, I definitely will because there I have others in the queue and I just want to draft some fun sometimes. But definitely not a lowly pleb, Jenna. You're a good dude. Uh, this hand seems actually great. Oh, is that better? No. Because we only, we're only we going to play this first and then we're going to get all the triggers off this. So ideally we're going to play this on three, hit a, hit a mountain and then play figure, get two counters on it. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Are you ready for it? Oh, wow. Well, our opponent is really not a nice person, unfortunately. It's really rude. It's the probably the rudest thing they could have done. Come on, rude boy boy. Well, we're definitely attacking here, so... If you want to give me back my thing... Give me back my shrine! Someone explain me, pleb. <laughs> well, you're on the internet, so... You have a, a wealth of knowledge... Actually, probably should have just played Pyromancer here. 
The reason being, if we play Abbot next turn, hit a mountain, we can also play this. But I also like the idea of hitting a mountain and then just pumping this guy to a 4 4, so. Here we go. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? No, only red. Oh. Or white mana. You know that game? I know your mom's game. You know my mom's game. Yeah. What is it? Snucker. My mom's game is Snucker. 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 Yeah, I heard you. Snucker is my mom's game. You got a problem? I think the ratio of real words to fake words that might Snooker is a real word. Snooker. 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 Yeah. What does it mean? It's a game. It's like pool. is a game. Yeah, look it up. S N O O K E R? Yeah. There wow. you go. Get, wow. get raked. And that's my mom's game. I did hear you say snucker, like with a U C K. Let's see how many of these guys get exiled. We're at 20 and they've attacked us twice. Did we gain life from something? Um, oh, Swords of Plowshares. Sure. Goodbye. This guy too? All of my guys? All my robot friends. Do, 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 do. No? You want to take that damage, huh? Okay. I feel like maybe he'll pump. He didn't pump. I guess let's see what we hit. You don't want to kill a land there? We can't. We just goes to play tap, bro. Oh. 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 For some reason I thought he cost three. Wow, you thought Avalanche Riders cost... You thought it was just strictly better Stone Rain. Maybe. A 2-2 with haste that destroys any land. Yeah, it's a good card. That's a real good card. Holy Jesus. Which is That's like too good to exist even. Wow, I can't believe this chat is like really focused on Snooker right now. It's very strange. Yeah. They know their history, unlike you. What's the history of Snooker? It was invented by J.D. Snook. J.D. Snook is who invented Snooker. Oh, they stopped attacking. How aggressive. I think we heard of the white here. Double white is usually more problematic than double black in the... Don't manatize me, bro. God, the fact that Avalanche Rose can kill any land is just... Pretty, oh. They're gonna oh they're gonna they're gonna restoration angel. They're gonna blink their little gentleman. Hey, we got it back. Then they're gonna take it right back. It's like it didn't even have a chance. Well, we're not attacking anymore. Tell me more, tell me more, like does my gonna come? Yep. Taking one. Don't think we're paying for this guy. I think we're just gonna let him go. Maybe. Yeah, we're just gonna let him go. So then we can play this. Beautiful lady. Also, their lime is almost out of time. Their lime. <laughs> that lime slice is almost out of time. Did we just kill the... I think we just killed the resto and attacked for five. Seems okay. Like we, get a lot, we get like three guys back next turn, right? Mm-hmm. 
Or is it just two? I think it's just Zergo and Figure. Go figure. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Lord Snookington and Snooksbury have come up with... Oh, God, I forgot the stupid parallax wave. Ah, well, we still got our guys back. And we still have Lava Claw Reaches, which is 1, 2, 3 to activate. So it's four. It's a 4-2 right now. And every land just makes it, every land just makes it better. Come on back, kids. Can you only activate figure on your turn? No, you can activate it whenever you want. Leveling, you can only activate on your turn. But figure was like pre-leveling. It's just a different ability. We also have five reds, so any literally one more red and we can actually just make figure huge. That is an extra red. So one, two, three. Activate this. Let's attack with everybody. And we can either pump figure to a four four or we can pump this, depending on what we need to do. Good good get him. I assume you have at least one removal spell. How do Green Lantern villains celebrate their favorite sports team? Um, you know, I don't know. I kind of like Mizzium Mortars here because it deals with four fours. Yeah. Also, we won another game. I don't know what's going on, but I'm okay with it. Was Manic Vandal good? What did it kill? Did it kill anything? No. Yeah, it's still fine. What about Parallax Wave? I don't understand what you're saying right now. A Parallax Wave is the answer. Oh. Parallax, you know, alright. You know what? I'll give it to you. It was good. It was good. At least you got the Rakdos return. Is this too slow? I don't know. I just work here. I think it seems good. Well, we have to cut something, so make a suggestion. Cut um. Do we want days here? Maybe. What are we cutting, man? Yeah, let's put it a little closer. Is that better? Oh, yes. Cut Dire Fleet. Doesn't seem good here. Really? They played Sword Splashers. Went on to gain life. Yeah, but if I can get a Restoration Angel, it's literally parody because you just get to attack with your creatures. Or if we can get rid of their Kite Sail Freebooter that stole our... Just 40 won it. All right. Oh, I like this hand a lot. So we can play this guy, attack on turn two. It's probably just better to play that Bell Striker, though. No, why? Uh, because you're always going to get in there for two. And if they have like a creature like a 2 1, I'd rather block the Bell Striker than the figure. Okay. And next turn we play this guy and pump, and then we make him a 4 4 on three and attack. Oh, Matic Vandal. That's good too. All right, we're doing it. So three, four, five. So actually three is gonna be here, four is gonna be this. Why do I feel like a resto is in the future? Yeah, I ain't getting restoed here. If they have Resto and Swords, it's rough because we have no profitable attacks. Whoops, cancel that. Let's do a three. 
Then everything play anyway. So if you want to swords in the sky, it's fine. Oh wow, he just gets in there. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> right. You just gonna run a resto out there? Oh, they did have the. We called the resto. Nailed it. So next turn, now we get to Mizzy and orders it. Yeesh. More like Progresso. Angel. Progresso Angel. Mm -hmm. Took the soup. They're trying to play Parallax Wave. Oh, it's Karn. All right. So we just get to kill Resto and kill Karn. Seems good. Or we can kill. Oh, that's a dude, huh? It's a fine trade. Otherwise, they block here, lose a guy, and Karn goes to one. No, that's fine. That's that's even so much better for us. Also, we don't actually have to play this black, so we can go Glorbringer next turn and then pump this guy to an eight-eight, which is pretty nuts. So, wow, there's a real Ryan Reynolds conversation going on here. Um. Give him the planes. Yeah. Frustrating. Pretty sure we're just killing Karn here. Seems good. Yeah, because if we play this, they're just gonna exile it, so I'd rather them not get another activation off Karn. You a little scratch you a little scratch in your little belly there? Yeah. Okay. Look at your name's Mr. We got this joke. What's Jay Gatsby's favorite superhero? Uh you know, I don't know. Oh, good. Uh, Liliana. Oh, nice. Seems good. Seems good. Well, things have really turned around here. I agree with you. Do we even attack? Yeah, we attack. What else would we do? They're at eight. Oh, true. Is he going to wave? sad because I was like if we can actually get this through then it's pretty good because we can like we have a lot of live answers Char is live Rakdos's return is live no good Well, they have no more counters on Parallax Wave, so. They do have 16 power, though, now. Yeah, we're going to go to four. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. We can actually deal five. And if we draw Lightning Bolt, we're still dead. So that's unfortunate. One, two, activate. Yeah, we're, one sh we're literally one shy if we drew, like, a Lightning Bolt here. We're still one game away from just winning this draft, which is pretty insane. I did not have high hopes for this deck, but it worked out quite well. What are you going to do? Blink your, blink your Grave Titan? You maniac? You utter maniac? 
Utter Mac. Utter Mac. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of mac and cheese? I like the Utter Mac. Not yours, the Utter. Good work. Thank you. Yep, that ain't gonna do it. So this would have left. We would have gotten back like figure and something else, but we're, it's hard to deal with. Missy Mort is also looking real good right now, but. Uh, so tempting you could you could try it now that we've seen reanimate I'm even more inclined to play this guy I think we should be fine they just draw parallax wave and restoration angel every game which is kind of obnoxious Yeah, Parallax Wave is uh, pretty annoying. I mean, if we can just resolve the Shrine of Burning Rage on turn two, I feel like we'd be in good shape. We haven't seen many ways for them to deal with it. Uh, what are the what are the times for next week? Are you going to stream at all or just not on the 24th, 25th? I'm going to stream every day except for probably Christmas. So probably just not on the 25th. I have no reason not to stream on 24th or 26th. What's up, Sarcastron? Hazard can give us the reach, but like we don't we never got them to two. Wow. Yeah, okay. Mm, bottom, unfortunately. You're a you're a good friend. If we can just draw three lands and then then gas, I'm good. Do I have a Santa hat I'll be wearing? No. You can make one. I can make a Santa hat. Out of mm -hmm. how would I do that? Just take some paper, spray paint it red. So I had to take it spray paint. Oh, you don't have spray paint? Do you? Yeah. Can I borrow yours? I don't have red though. What color spray paint do you have? Black. You have black spray paint. Yeah. For what? Tough. <laughs> oh. To huff. Huh. <laughs> uh, we just we, we just drew a land to play Manic Vandal to kill their sword. That they took two damage to cast. That is gasoline. Do you think that huffing the black spray paint is more effective than a different color, perhaps? No, that's just the kind I got. I see. What are they playing here? I hope it's a shitty creature. Thank you. That's not a shitty creature. Actually, we can still kill this. We can Mizium orders the guy. Attack Gideon. Yeah, we're going to do that. Make a dude. Make a duder. Delira Knight, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Mike is Florida man, apparently. That is correct. We basically traded a Mizium Mortars for a 1 1 token and a Gideon. So. Which is uh, pretty good. I mean, it's yeah, it's not great when you look at it as killing a knight, but it's also. I mean, the Gideon getting off the board is pretty relevant. Also, if we can hit one more land, I would be very willing to kill this, con this concealed courtyard and deny them black. What the heck is Mike doing with black spray paint? Huffing it. There's no delay, right, guys? Can you guys let me know if there's a delay? I just want to make sure there's no delay. Also, if we hit a land and we get to Chandra this. Oh, wow. Wow. Didn't That's so enough. brutal, dude. Literally, what? Yeah, literally the only one land that comes into play tapped. Absolutely insane. Really? Because I have no delay on both Twitch and on... Well, I still think even with no delay, there's like a couple second delay. No delay? No delay. No valet. I was going between rooms, sorry. Forgivable offense. <sighs> mm. 
I guess they're going to 16. That's so game breaking too because we would have like Chandra out. We would have a live Chandra. Uh, I'm just gonna take four here. Uh, we'd have a live Chandra. They wouldn't have mana untapped to do any shenanigans. We would have gotten five points through putting them to seven. And for them to do anything really, they would probably have to play to, to use Ancient Tomb again, which puts them to five. I mean, they have Parallax Wave. Jesus. The problem is, like, they don't want to exile this guy, and they can't really exile... Like, this is... We don't care about them exiling these guys, so it's kind of whatever. Oh, now we get an untapped land. Also, this is going to be pretty good at some point. We can do for three now. You got to save it. Can Parallax Wave hit Planeswalkers? No, it's literally just creatures. Okay. Well, now they go down to 11. We're not dead yet. I'm in the export importer exporter business. Both? Yeah. That's fancy. No, I did not remove that thing. Apparently it's just not popping. That's really sad. So here we go. Hey, there we go. Oh, good lord. There's too many colors things that gain life. Oh, one, two, three. Well, that's one half. Definitely seems like a plus here. How do I deal with this? Two, three, four. We can keep up Kolagon's command. So we definitely want to kill this before it goes crazy. I'd just wait till they attack with it. Right. Well, I'm going to attack and then we're going to kill it. Why? Why? I think it's better to kill it on their turn after they try to equip it or something. If they attack with it, they gain six life. Not if you hit it with the Kolagon span as they attack. That's what I'm saying. I just literally just said that. I said when they attack with it, we're going to kill it. I thought you said when we attack, like no. we were attacking. But I mean, like, we could. I, I'm tempted to attack when they block, we kill it, but... If you want to keep using Ancient Tomb, that is... Fine by me. They can also go exile, 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 and then equip this, and then I'm gonna be like, oh no, that's terrible news. Yeah, we just can't have, uh, like, they're never gonna exile either of these with wave, I don't think. That seems bad. <sighs> Having Worm Coil and Batter Skull against the red deck is pretty bad. Destroy an artifact, discard a card. Probably just destroy it and deal them two, right? Yeah. Don't they just exile it with with Parallax Wave, though? I guess they could. Then they take two, because they have no more, and then they take another two. Actually, that just might kill them. Uh, destroy an artifact, deals two, I'm just saying target. Destroy you, two you, one, two, three. Yeah, we just want to prevent the life gain here. They can wave the worm, right, but then they just have no more tokens on Parallax Wave. They have nothing on board. They can also, if they have, like, Resto in hand, they take another two, and they don't gain the life, which is relevant because it puts them to seven, and this puts them to five, and this puts them to three, and Rakdos Return should kill them. So we actually have a lot of ways to win here. Okay, that's actually fine, because we still have two guys on board, and they can't play Batter Skull. They still took two. They're at five. This puts them to two, so that means they have to block both of these or gain life. We have a lot of life gain cards, right? A lot of a lot of incremental damage in different sources. All right, this is getting close. It's 
it's getting real close. This is going to be surprisingly relevant, I think. What are you blinking here? Does that... What does this do? Oh, wow, that's bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also, this guy would have died. I forgot about that. There's a lot going on. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're literally one shy of killing them. Oh my god. As we put them to five, and then we can put them to. Yeah, we can put them to one, but not to zero. <sighs> That's brutal. I guess we see what's on top. If it's a one mana burn spell, we might win. Sure. ready I don't think it's gonna do it God, parallax way of being able to get through with these guys this is so ridiculous yeah, parallax wave is a heck of a card against the red deck Pretty obnoxious. I agree. I can't believe we have four. Yes, yeah, so if we've been at Chandra Dills too, that is correct. It doesn't. We've already accounted for that though. <laughs> like that doesn't change anything. Yeah, we're one mana shy. And then we can deal four with this, so it puts them to one. And then they tap, they're gonna gain like eleven. So no, they can't equip if they if they. They can't cast, they can't use Ancient Tomb. Yeah, put them to one, I guess. So the Exile Manic Vandal. Because we have nothing left. God, that flicker wisp was so huge there. Shooting our own dude and blowing up the outer skull doesn't really do anything, right? Why does what is shooting our own, why is shooting our own dude better? Because they're not getting life anyway if we blow up the batter skull, so. Oh yeah, Flicker with Parallax Wave is pretty sweet because they can just exile the Flicker Wisp with the Parallax Wave so that it comes back. No, because then the Parallax Wave goes to the graveyard. So then there's no, there's no when the when the Flicker Wisp comes back from the Parallax Wave, the, that's because the Parallax Wave was gone. Face and Chandra, sure. Now they're back at seven. We could attack with this, but they have Parallax Wave, so pretty bad. Magic is hard. Yep. Can't be Parallax Wave for a million. Like, whatever. Anyway, not too bad for a uh, stipulation. I didn't think we were going to do that well. And thank you so much, Scott. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm not leaving, of course, because Vintage Cube is awesome. But if you guys are interested, you can support me on Patreon or Twitch. Both of those links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So check that out as well. Uh, you can also check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. Link is in the description below. If you use Frank Lepore, or if you use Frank, promo code Frank, uh, you'll get 10% off his stuff as well. Anything in his store. So that is super cool. Uh, be sure to check his stuff out if you guys are looking for any kind of custom uh, real wood, super high craftsmanship, deck boxes, cube boxes, dice holders, stuff like that. His stuff is amazing. So uh, it's, it's the kind of thing where I saw it and I was like, I didn't know I needed this until right now. So definitely check that out. You can find the link on my Twitch page or on my in my YouTube, YouTube, YouTube description. Nailed it. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.